guys, welcome back to Swab W. Um, before I start today's lesson, just want to say a quick Merry Christmas. So uh, today I want to talk to you guys about blog commenting. Now this is an interesting topic because it's getting a lot of hype recently. A lot of people are starting to uh, comment spam on my blog actually, and I'm pretty sure it's happening on other people's and it's probably happening on yours too. Um, you know, usually they're advertising about some like get rich, you know, quick scheme. Um, you know, s some completely irrelevant stuff. And, you know, the tagline always goes like this. Something like, hey, get rich in 20 days. Get by this and pay this now and you will make tons of money. You know, some, some, some sort of BS. Now, do posting these type of, you know, silly comments work? A lot of people, um, or especially webmasters, uh, started this whole new buzz about blog commenting on how it helps um, you know rank your keywords now let's talk about just blog commenting in general a uh, blogger WordPress Joomla and other major uh, social networking uh, or blogging type of sites um, prohibit or not prohibit but but by default they have a so-called no follow tags on all of their blogs and, and the reason to have that is to prevent common spam. How does it prevent common spam? Well, no follow tags basically means that whatever the person writes on your blog, uh, whether do they uh, whether they have a link or not, um, it's not going to be picked up by Google. So let's just say I write, um, you know, say hi, how are you doing? And my name is blah so and so with a link in the back. Well, that comment will never be found by Google ever. And that the reason is, you know, like the reason that I'm telling you that people are spamming and putting these silly links of their website into people's blog and in terms wanting to kind of get a higher ranking with Google um, or ranking higher for their keywords. And usually that doesn't work jack. And, you know, people were having problems and, and you know, basically that's why uh, these big uh, blogging sites, uh, they start putting no follow tags by default to people's uh you know, blogs, so, um, you know, to discourage these guys, these type of guys to try to use this technique to really build up their link, which is, uh, you know, most of the time useless. For this type of link, however, let's just say if you want to truly comment on somebody's blog and to work, their blog has to have a quote-unquote a do-follow tag. Now, how do you know their blog has a quote-unquote do-follow tag? Let me tell you the million-dollar question. The answer to that is you don't know. Because most of these people that do that, they write in a blog post somewhere and, you know, to sift through tons of blog posts just to find out that they have a do follow tag in their website, it's just simply not worth the time. By the time you found out these, you know, that they do or do not have a do or no follow tag, you could have link build or building links with other methods. Now, um, the do follow tags sometimes people actually uh, keep track of uh, these type of blogs that they, their findings or whatever and they compile this and this list has been passed around to gazillions of people so what happens to these blog owners eventually they get a tons of blog uh, comments and usually they're spams and what does it do to you well Google usually immediately flags any type of sites that have uh, common spams and you know those type of link usually does uh, a negative effect to your website link building instead of a positive one. So, you know, really, I mean, it's just not worth the time and, and effort to really f dig out these type of sites to really link build it this way. Um, it's just not, not um, relevant content most of the time. And, and most of the time, these are just, uh, you know, link farms that Google dislikes and stuff like that. So in this type of stuff, usually Google discourages it, and you know the the weight for the link. That just say if you build them, and they're built successfully, they're just not weight as heavy as the one that if you were to build in a different way. So uh, next time, if you're thinking about commenting on blog people's blogs and putting little little links on your website, well, it's probably not a good idea, and you know it's really worth not worth the time and effort for it. And uh, that will kind of conclude today's lesson. Swap W, making money smart. www.swapw.blogspot.com.